Arsenal took on Everton in the Premiership on the 3rd of May 1998, knowing a win would secure the Premiership trophy and so make it 11 league titles in all for the Gunners. Everton had managed just one win in six prior to this one and were in serious trouble, just three points off the bottom of the table. There was one change to the Gunners' lineup that had beaten Derby 1 0 in their last match. Christopher Ray started up front in place of Dennis Bergkamp, who was injured. Arsenal have won their last eight matches in all competitions. An extremely defensive looking Everton lineup. No less than six defenders in all, with centre back Slaven Bilic playing a holding role in midfield. Everton had only beaten Arsenal once in 11 Premiership meetings between the clubs. A draw looked to be the summit of their ambitions this time around. A fevered atmosphere in North London. Your match commentator is Paul Dempsey. It's Everton in their famous blue from right to left attacking the North Bank. Ray Parler gets Arsenal going forward for the first time. Trying to pick out Anelka. Everton's boss, Howard Kendall, said, we have a game plan, we are prepared, and we are looking for a fight. Ferguson got his foot in, but he only reached Anelka. Manuel Petit, who's been in blinding form, tried to pick out Mark Overmars. Good first touch for the Norwegian keeper, Mura. A rare success story for Everton this season, the keeper. It's up to Ferguson. Keown won the header. Dixon won the tackle. Peter Brigley stayed down. So, first chance for Everton to try to get some service in to Duncan Ferguson. Brigley on his feet, OK. Our match referee, incidentally, Gerald Ashby, who referees his last senior game today. Hutchison got a shot off. What have Arsenal got on the counter-attack? Winterburn. Four men forward. One of them is Chris Ray. Thomas Murrow was left unprotected. And he just underlined why he has been such a success. Great take on the chest. Well, Harrod Kendall is actually the most successful manager in Everton's history. His third spell in charge of Everton and for all his great successes in the 80s praying that he is not going to go down as the manager to take Everton down after 44 years in the top flight I mentioned that Everton came into the game with four recognised centre halves and sure enough one of them has been pushed forward it's Slaven Bilic into a holding role in the middle of the field Big game for Gerald Ashby to bow out with and nice to see him get this game. Ferguson got on the end of that one but no real quality in the service. He fought it out with three Arsenal defenders then and the Arsenal boys came out on top. They'll relish the physical challenge. It's Mark Overmars on the counter. Dave Watson stepped up to him. Ray again found himself with lots of room. Vieira. But there were six blue shirts back behind the ball quickly for Everton. Dixon over the top. Big wind blowing down the field here today as well. What a test for each of these Everton players. Free kick right in front of Wendy Toms, conceded by the youngster Michael Ball. Probably the biggest game that young Ball has ever played in in his life so far. It's a day for experienced hands, but Everton have a great clutch of promising youngsters. Ball's the only one who makes the cut for today. All the big men forward for Arsenal. What a start! Would you believe it? It's Tony Adams. Petit's ball to the back post. And really nobody went with Adams. He got back and got his header on target. Murrah couldn't make a save. And if that is the goal that wins the Premier League trophy for Arsenal, 
the fairy tale writers will go out of business. Winterburn won his challenge. Hutchison up to Bilic. Easily picked out by Vieira. Martin Keogh. This game is settling into a very worrying pattern for Everton. Winterburn up to Anelka. Nigel Winterburn continued his run and linked brilliantly with Anelka again. Only needed a touch from Ray, who was closing in as well. No Ian Wright, no Dennis Bergkamp. Arsenal still look irresistible going forward. Ferguson won that well in the air for Everton. Bits and pieces picked up by Billich. John O'Kane, Winterburn out to him. And Winterburn just continued to run on. So confident. Everton are going to have to stop him. Ray's ball in was a great ball. What a goal that would have been for Ray Parler. More excellent keeping for Murat. The old and the new of Arsenal working so well together. And one of the homegrown products Parler got on the end of it. Ray's instinctive header on. And an equally instinctive header by Parler. Stern challenge from Hutchison, but a good one. Slavin Bilic didn't have the legs to get away from Vieira. Titi over the top. Keeper came out early. Needed help from Short, and he got it. And just as well for Everton. Anelka's pace is frightening. Here comes Petty, who can shift, and so too can Ray. Craig Short got back around Murder for Everton. Probably the right decision from the keeper to come, though. And it's just as well for Everton that he is right on top of his game. They'll hope to build on that discipline. Hutchison up to Bilic. It's not his natural position in the middle of the field, Slavon Bilic, and surrounded by such expert practitioners of midfield play, he does appear to be struggling. That was the big gamble by Howard Kendall today, that he could play in that role. Put his ball in, Lee Dixon chasing onto it. Almost got the pieces off the keeper, and second time, off short. <laughs> Two falls and a submission then. But no goal for Arsenal. Everton survive again. The decision seemed right from the keeper, but maybe the expertise was wrong in the handling. Dixon tried to make a better job of handling it. Great jump by Keown on Ferguson. Fell to Parler. Well read by O'Kane the former Manchester United youngster. Bilic tried to release Bigri. Peter Bigri's had a little dart early on at Lee Dixon. Now he's having a go at Nigel Winterburn down the other flank. But frankly, the form that Winterburn is in today, that's going to be a tall order. Short stepped out from the back for Everton. Arsenal have a man down. I think it's Emmanuel Petit. 
Bigri goes on. And he lost the ball in the end. Overmars. Where's the help for Mark Overmars? He has the pace to go alone if necessary. This is Overmars! That is two for Arsenal. And it could be curtains for Everton. 28 minutes gone. And now Arsene Wenger looks a little more relaxed. And maybe the real thing is coming to the party in an hour from now. Stand off Mark Overmars at your peril. But if you dive in, he can leave you on your backside. That's the devil's dilemma. He also has the finishing touch here. Dave Watson just lets him run at him into the box. Maybe the keeper could have kept it out on another day. Three on three. Dixon, ball over the top. May have been the one, but it was an Elka that Dixon tried to reach. Again, the youngster OK and exposed hopelessly. Overmars just took the ball off him. Anelka has power and pace. We didn't know too much about him six months ago. Kept in reserve by Arsenal early season. But they must have known something about him. To let John Hartson go to West Ham. And one remembers Arsene Wenger early season saying of Anelka that he just needed to toughen himself up mentally for the job in English football and then we would see an explosion of his talent. And that is what has happened. Hutchison taken out by Vieira. There is Anelka and all his pace. Could this finish it inside 35 minutes? Patrick Vieira allows himself a wry smile and in the context of the season it probably won't count but that surely would have ended it all. Ray little one-two with Anelka the face of Arsenal strikers into the future perhaps Ray Parr is the most forward Arsenal player here it's on if he can twist it behind him it's still on here for Vieira this time he took a touch and tried to set somebody else up well by the time it reached Christopher Ray the options were limited how well Ray Parler does to get into such a great position and then find Vieira, he had a first time strike five minutes ago which he squandered hopelessly Big re nipped in and won a tackle off Petit O'Kane for Everton, Hutchison little lax Christopher Ray over Mars. Everton have the bodies back, but the Dutchman has the guile. This is Chris Ray. Village got his foot in. Petit got one midweek. A little closer it was against Derby, but the same end of the ground. Keown comes through and takes everything, including Ferguson. Here they go again. And this time, Gerald Ashby is isolating Ferguson as the culprit. Nice lad, apparently. Just a bit fiery on the field. Looked a little bit high, his challenge on Keown. But make no mistake, he'll be taking plenty 
from the Arsenal rearguard this afternoon as well. On with the football. And Elka got a great turn in. Well, that would have been a Dennis Bergkamp picture book special in the absence of the Dutchman. Fabulous turn. Murder happily not forced to make a save. But let no one denigrate the contribution that Emmanuel Petit has made, along with this man Vieira in the middle of the field over the past four months since Christmas. David Platt will get 45 minutes in what looks like being Arsenal's championship game. Has a habit of hanging around for a medal, David Platt. Great talent to have if you're a professional footballer. So, 45 minutes before the party, you feel. Half-time here, Arsenal 2, Everton 0. Flick on from Ferguson wasn't a bad one. Fell only to Ray. Vieira. What chance Vieira and Petit forcing their way into the French World Cup squad. Vieira perhaps a more likely starter than Petit. All one could say is that France must have an abundance of quality midfield men if either of those two are to get in. But of course they do have. David Platt. Space for Anelka, another French World Cup dreamer. Goals will help his case. Madar made a good run, Hutchison found him. Better signs from Everton here early in the second period, but then again they were coming off a low mark after the first half display. Took a risk, and maybe we'll get punished. Mark Overmars has the pace to go it all alone here. The Dutchman Overmars looking for his second. What a fantastic way to get it. World class from the Flying Dutchman. 57 minutes of this one played. Arsenal will be crowned champions this afternoon. There seemed virtually nothing on but he has 10.3 100-metre pace and a finish to match. And poor old Dave Watson left trailing helplessly in his wake. And his problems aren't to be summed up in one afternoon. Let's hope he gets a crack next season. Everything you could say about Arsenal in terms of tradition and support and size applies equally to Everton, but they are miles and miles away from being a top side at the moment. Almost another error from Hutchison, and Short just backed away, frightened of the pace of Anelka. He's got three in front of him, but he's still got a shot in. Well, he's absolutely terrorising. Three big, strong, statuesque, old-style English defenders, this Frenchman. Nicolas Anelka makes way for the one and only... Ian Wright.
back in first team duty for the first time in over three months. He played in the reserves against West Ham on Monday night, got a game under his belt then. Steve Bold, who has had a superb season. On for Christopher Ray. Ray certainly one for the future. Bold, one of those who refuses to go down as somebody from the past. Some people say even at 35 he has played better this season than ever before. Man of the match this afternoon, Mark Overmars. And I don't think much surprise there. So good of Arsenal being on the whole that the likes of David Platt have been forced to play bit parts in this championship year. But over the course of the season, in true championship style, it's hard to think of any established Arsenal first-team squad member who has not pulled his weight. They've all done their bit and more. And the likes of Bold, Adams, Dixon and Winterburn have got better with age. Off the field, Arsenal look now as though they will be staying at Highbury into the new century with plans to redevelop, to increase the capacity here and who knows whether Arsene Wenger may not be laying the foundations on the field for a new dynasty. And this great old stadium. Wonder if we'll see David Platt in Arsenal colours next season. Murray came and read it well. And the second one. But Platt apart, it's bold. On to Adams. This would be a fairy story. Can there be a sweeter moment? Tony Adams clinches Arsenal's championship his third of the season poetic justice indeed for a man who lists his modern day hobbies as reading poetry a man who has reinvented himself as a player and got better. David Seaman almost had to make a save from Ferguson, but not quite. It's going to be hard for Everton to lift themselves from this crushing defeat. I would say that even given Tony Adams' amazing career, this might be the highlight. They wrote him off. They wrote Arsenal off, they wrote Arsene Wenger off, but it's everything every Arsenal fan could ever have wanted here. Highbury in the sunshine, Arsenal routing Everton. 
It was a very special afternoon for the red half of North London. Amazingly, Everton managed to escape relegation when a final day draw with Coventry proved enough to keep the Toffees up on goal difference. But Arsenal had a fitting end to their season with two of the club's longest-serving players, Steve Bold and Tony Adams, involved in the final goal that secured the title for them. Adams lifted the trophy after the game, Arsenal's first Premiership crown.